In a dramatic turn of events, NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang recently made a bold statement during his trip to Beijing, where he praised China's AI technology, sparking widespread speculation about the future of the U.S.-China chip war. For those who've been following this high-stakes global battle for semiconductor dominance, this could mark a significant shift. NVIDIA, a company that's deeply intertwined with both the U.S. and China, has been at the center of the semiconductor trade wars. And Huang's comments weren't just diplomatic, they were part of a larger strategy to secure NVIDIA's place in China, a market that represents billions in potential revenue. But does this mean the chip war is over? Or is this just a temporary truce? Let's break it down. Huang's trip to China wasn't just about making nice with government officials or attending expos. It was part of a larger, calculated strategy. During his visit, Huang met with top Chinese officials and visited a supply chain expo in Beijing, where he did not shy away from complimenting China's technological progress. He was quoted saying, China is moving incredibly fast because of innovations like DeepSeek and Alibaba QN. DeepSeek, in particular, is the world's first open source reasoning model. A breakthrough, no question. This wasn't just your typical corporate flattery. Huang highlighted that China's technological products, especially in AI, were unimaginably good, acknowledging the country's sophisticated supply chain as the key enabler. While these comments may sound like general praise, they were likely part of a carefully orchestrated move to secure NVIDIA's place in China, a market that, despite the ongoing geopolitical turmoil, represents billions in potential revenue. But beyond this, what do these remarks really mean for the broader tech landscape? And how does this fit into the ongoing struggle for semiconductor supremacy? To fully understand the implications of Huang's praise tour, we need to go back to the beginning of the U.S.-China chip war. The conflict flared up in earnest under President Joe Biden's administration in 2023, when the U.S. imposed sweeping restrictions on the export of advanced semiconductors to China. The U.S. government's rationale was clear. By cutting off access to these critical technologies, they could slow China's rise in key sectors like AI, military defense, and next-gen computing. The fear was that China would use American-made chips to fuel its own technological and military advancements, threatening U.S. global dominance. For NVIDIA, this move was a heavy blow. With approximately 13% of its revenue coming from China, the company was faced with losing access to one of its largest and most lucrative markets. In response to the restrictions, NVIDIA got creative. The company designed a new chip specifically for China, the H20, which was powerful enough to cater to the country's AI needs, but not advanced enough to be banned under the new regulations. However, this strategic workaround didn't come without its own complications. Just when NVIDIA thought it had found a solution, former President Donald Trump added another layer of complexity by placing an additional ban on the H20 chip in April 2024, citing national security concerns. This decision sparked a new wave of uncertainty and pressure for NVIDIA, which faced the possibility of losing out on billions of dollars in sales. At this point, NVIDIA was left with limited options. The company's fate seemed tied to Washington's political decisions, but in a surprising turn, Jensen Huang personally took up the mantle of lobbying the Trump administration to lift the H-20 ban. Reports suggest that Huang's efforts included a visit to the White House, where he directly lobbied for the chip's release. In a highly publicized move, Huang secured a deal that allowed NVIDIA to resume selling the H-20 chip to China. In exchange, Trump negotiated a trade agreement in which China agreed to ease its restrictions on the export of rare earth magnets to the U.S., these rare earths are critical to many industries, including tech manufacturing, aerospace, and defense. With China holding a near monopoly on these resources, this deal underscored how both countries were willing to use their respective economic leverage to reach a temporary agreement. For NVIDIA, this was a victory. Not only did they regain access to the Chinese market, but they also found themselves positioned to capitalize on the growing demand for AI and semiconductors. The company's market value soared to over $4 trillion, and reports suggest that by lifting the H-20 ban, NVIDIA stands to recover nearly $10 billion in lost sales. This is a significant boon for the company, allowing it to remain at the forefront of the global semiconductor race. But the question remains, 
Has the US-China chip war truly come to an end? While NVIDIA's victory is undoubtedly a major development, the geopolitical landscape remains as volatile as ever. Several key factors will determine whether this moment marks the end of the chip war or if tensions will flare up once again. First, there's the ongoing political situation in the United States. While Trump's decision to lift the ban benefited NVIDIA, not all American politicians agree with this move. Many of them, particularly those aligned with the China hawk camp, continue to see China as a strategic rival. These policymakers argue that lifting the chip ban could ultimately undermine U.S. national security, and they may press for tighter restrictions in the future. The battle between economic pragmatism and national security concerns will likely remain a dominant theme in U.S. foreign policy. Then, there's the issue of China's long-term strategy. In response to the U.S. restrictions, China has pushed forward with its own chip development initiatives. Major companies like Huawei and SMIC have ramped up their efforts to create homegrown semiconductors, reducing their reliance on foreign suppliers like NVIDIA. This strategy of technological self-sufficiency is likely to continue, especially as China's government pours resources into its AI and semiconductor sectors. The lifting of the H-20 ban may be seen as a temporary win, but in the long run, China is expected to continue its push for independent technological development. China has been very clear about its intent to lessen its dependency on U.S. technologies, and it has made significant strides. In fact, while many were skeptical about China's ability to break free from the West's technological grip, the country has rapidly become a formidable player in the global semiconductor industry. Companies like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, which were once years behind their Western counterparts, are now making headway in producing more advanced chips. Even Huawei, which had been largely cut off from the global tech supply chain due to U.S. sanctions, has ramped up its own chip development. This focus on self-sufficiency may not only help China weather future sanctions, but it could allow the country to eventually challenge the U.S. in the race for technological dominance. Moreover, China's long-term vision extends far beyond just semiconductors. The country is heavily invested in AI, quantum computing, and other next-gen technologies. With the lifting of the H-20 ban, NVIDIA may have secured a short-term financial win, but it is also entering an increasingly competitive market, where China will continue to bolster its own technological infrastructure. NVIDIA's chips may fuel the next wave of Chinese AI innovation, but it remains to be seen how long that demand will last as China strengthens its own capabilities. This brings us to a third factor that will influence the course of the chip war, the broader dynamics of global technology and trade. While the US and China are locked in a fierce struggle, other countries and regions are emerging as key players. For instance, Taiwan remains a central hub for semiconductor production, with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company being the world's leading chip manufacturer. South Korea, too, has advanced its semiconductor production capabilities with companies like Samsung Electronics playing a leading role. Meanwhile, India, the European Union and Japan are all investing heavily in developing their own semiconductor industries to reduce reliance on the US and China. This global shift towards semiconductor independence presents both challenges and opportunities. On the one hand, Countries like India and the EU see the chip industry as a critical area for economic development and national security. On the other hand, this diversification means that the US and China will no longer be the sole centers of power in the global semiconductor market. This could lead to a more fragmented and competitive landscape, where trade barriers and technology transfer issues become more complex. As we watch these events unfold, it's clear that the chip war will continue to shape the future of global trade and technology. But what do you think? Is this the end of the US-China chip war or just the beginning of a new phase? How do you see Nvidia's role in the future of global tech? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going.